uh, good morning everybody uh, today we are going to cover some uh, important chapters on linux file system we will learn how to administer it so uh, in this session we will be having three tutorials uh, the first one is mounting and unmounting devices uh, the second one is creating the backups with tar utility and the last one is working with links so mounting is very important concept in linux system because every device is a file so you have to mount them uh, today we are going to cover how to mount devices and the next stuff is how to unmount them uh, we'll, i'll be telling you how can how you can automate mounting devices the next one is tips and tricks for the obstacles you have so let's begin the course so now first i have a pen drive inserted into my uh, system uh, let me insert it again uh, let if you type mount its command it shows a list of devices that are mounted uh, this command goes and look for the file that is inside etc and its name mtab so you can use cat utility to look yourself it's the same thing i will use cat etc mtab or mount i prefer mount so you go here so you see this is my pen drive it's named dev slash sdc1 which is mounted on media and this point it's a, other things are uh, the parameters that it has so uh, do not worry about them and now we'll unmount that first in order to mount and don't worry about the syntax for now uh, here we go mount and there is no dvstc1 so to mount you type mount is m o u n t then the device file device name device name then the destination folder so that's pretty simple so the device name is either slash dv slash st something like that dv slash and something follows so in this case it's dv slash stc1 and i'm going to mount it on media it's a, a folder that is given by the system and inside that i've created a empty folder called pen drive so if i use that and it says only root can do that because mounting is a super uh, root privilege so you type sudo in front so that it says super do and it says it might uh, prompt you to enter your password if it does so then give your password and it will be mounted here so check out if it's mounted or not so now it's here dv slash stc uh, it's mounted on media slash pen drive so let's check for ourselves so let's do ls slash media slash pn pen drive so there are the components that are inside pen drive so it's mounted so one more thing about mounting is that when you mount in a directory make sure that that directory is empty that directory is not mounted already and that directory is not a system used because when you, you can mount devices anywhere in the file system uh, of your linux but make that it's not system used or it's not uh, used by your files it can erase it so always do an empty folder so uh, to unmount you type u m o u n t it's not spelling uh, it's not spelling incorrect it's the correct is u m o u n t not u n m o u n t so you type either the device name or the mounted point either the device or mounted after you mount so i do that by using dv slash stc1 so amount it says again it should be root so in that type sudo then 
type mount there is no mount uh, there is no stc slash stc one so it's unmounted now if you like some devices some partitions and hard disks to be mounted automatically when you start your uh, linux system then you can uh, edit the file which is mtab inside etc you do edit by ged gedit space and you get a file like this one so it's i'm sorry it should be it's not m tab it's fs tab there you go i'm sorry about that uh this if you add something here uh mount points here then you get um you mount file system on startup so root mounted on stc7 during installation and home is mounted on this point during installation so if you want to mount something on startup uh, place it right here but i'm not going to do that because it might broke the system so that's it and before i go i will tell you something that if you, uh, if you want to unmount the system then you should always be out of the uh, mounted location and you should not be using the files on the mounted uh, from the mounted portion so the device should not be busy else it will throw you a message